hello guys welcome to my youtube channel welcome to read my channel the place where we share hope and bring benefit to others and today the 18th of january our president give out a speech and address the nation the nation as a whole please relax and get more information by our president fellow Syrians during my new year's message i shared my firm sense of hope and optimism for our nation's progress my hope and optimism haven't waned, but instead reinforced by the decisive wins we have witnessed in the first two weeks of 2024. From our assumption of the United Nations security seat to the reselection of the MCC compact, Sierra Leone is once again regaining its pride of place in the global community. We embrace these newfound possibilities with a deep sense of commitment to the principles of unity, freedom, and justice. We must embrace unity to sustain the momentum and advance our collective aspiration for a peaceful and prosperous country. Only through unity can we be a prosperous and harmonious future for all. In keeping with our government's commitment to peace and security, in the past few days, I have met with our revered paramounts, the Inter-Religious Council, the main opposition APC parliamentary leadership, the chairman of the APC, and the bereaved families of the 18 current security officers who lost their lives during the November 26th fate coup. In my engagements with each delegation, I reiterated our government's resolve to promote peaceful coexistence. Sierra Leone has weathered numerous challenges throughout its history. Imagine more robust each time. Our journey as a nation has been marked by resilience, determination, and a shared vision for a better tomorrow. Yet, we recognize that challenges persist. And as we progress, the path to progress must be paved with unity. Fellow Cyrillians, unity does not imply uniformity. It is about acknowledging and celebrating our differences while embracing the shared values that bind us together as one people. Unity is about recognizing that each of us contributes to the rich tapestry of our nation. And together, we can achieve far more than we can individually. We must prioritize dialogue and understanding to foster national unity and cohesion. For this reason, we have sustained the implementation of critical elements of the mediated dialogue, including establishing the Tripartite Electoral Review Committee and the Inter-Party Dialogue. We are continuing to engage in open and honest conversations where every voice is heard and respected. Fellow Syrians. It is pertinent to state that while our government 
is making a concerted effort to promote peace. Some unpatriotic elements have continued to fund the ember of disunity and are choosing to disrupt the peace and tranquility of the country. Let it be clear that our government is ready to bear the total weight of the law on any individual, group, or association caught breaking the law. The rule of law will continue to prevail. At the resumption of the trial of the former president, Anders by Chroma on January 17th, his lawyers made an application to the courts to permit him to leave the jurisdiction temporarily for specialized medical reasons. The Attorney General vehemently opposed the application. On the principle of separation of powers enshrined in our constitution, it is a matter entirely for the courts to determine. The courts have therefore granted the application for the former president to depart from the country purely for specialized medical reasons. And his trial will be suspended for the duration of his absence. Of course, it is important to know that this humanitarian gesture does not in any way detract from the seriousness of the ongoing trials. On the contrary, it reinforces our position that the trial is not a political witch hunt, but one aimed at unraveling the truth behind the events of November 26, 2023. By the same token, I would like to take this opportunity to commend the police and judiciary for their professionalism in handling this most important and delicate trial ever in our country's history in the best interest of our nation and our justice system. I assure every Sierra Leonean and families of the victims of November 26th that we shall get to the root of the matter and bring all those involved to justice. Fellow Sierra Leoneans, we are making concerted efforts towards stabilizing the economy and prioritizing foreign direct investment as pathways to revamping the critical sectors of the economy. To this end, we are strengthening the legal regulatory frameworks to make the country competitive for investments. However, only a peaceful and secure country can present a fertile ground for investments. We must therefore invest in building peace and unity. Our beloved Sridium is a mosaic of diverse cultures, ethnicities, and traditions. It is this diversity that enriches our heritage and makes us unique. Our diversity should be seen as a source of strength, a wellspring of ideas that can prepare us towards a brighter future. As we embark on this journey towards national unity, let us remember the importance of national pride. We are Sierra Leoneans, and our pride in our nation should fuel our collective efforts to overcome challenges and achieve greatness. Together, we can be a Ceridian that stands as a shining example of unity in diversity. Let us build bridges, not walls. Let us celebrate our differences and find strength in our shared aspirations. Together, we can forge a path towards a brighter and more prosperous Sierra Leone where every Sierra Leonean is a stakeholder in the nation's 
success. Long live the Republic of Sierra Leone and God bless you all.